well, new year, same face. There are probably a few that wish that you weren't seeing me again. But in this new year, we thought we'd take the opportunity to address the issues that are pertinent to the current system of superannuation for the military people, the MSBS. And you might say, well, why is that important? Well, there are a couple of reasons. One, like all young people, they're bulletproof and they're never going to get old. So they don't need to worry about superannuation. We old grey hairs, we know that's not the case because whether we like it or not, eventually you're going to need your super and you're going to want it to perform well. We're making this also for the public to let them understand just how the current serving men and women of the ADF are being treated. Because we hear the platitudes coming from the politicians at all times. Every time there's a camera opportunity, they espouse how much they appreciate and value the work of the Defence Force, men and women. But in reality, the superannuation is not performing in five areas. And what we're going to do in these next series of, of videos is address those, those issues. We'll probably do three more after this video. And in this one, I'll pick up a couple of the minor ones to, to cover. But before I go there, I'd just like to, to point out that back in 2007, Andrew Podger was uh, commissioned by the then Liberal government to do a review. He did that into the military superannuation and he gave that to the government and it was released by the, the new Labor government, by Rudd government in the, the end of 2007. It was an extensive review and it recommended a number of changes because Podger recognised that there were many areas of the current MSBS system that were not performing in an optimum manner. Now, there are some areas that are, are, as I said, very important to us, and the, the two areas that I'd like to address in this videotape are relatively short, and that is the maximum benefit limit restriction that applies purely to MSBS recipients. The Commonwealth Government has removed this restriction from all other Commonwealth superannuants, but it's leaving the restriction on the service personnel. Why? Well, it doesn't impact a lot of people, I'll, I'll admit that. It, it, but it does impact on those very loyal and hard-working individuals who commit their entire life to the military, to serving this nation. They're the ones that get impacted because eventually, after years and years of service and rising in rank during that time, they reach a limit where the government says, ah, you've, you've got enough there as the maximum benefit limit, we're not going to let you contribute any more. So they cease their contributions and they don't allow the member to make any more contributions themselves. Get rid of it, government. Wake up. It's not needed. It shouldn't be there and you know it shouldn't be there. They keep saying, oh, we're reviewing the Podger review and we'll come back to it and we'll address all issues of the Podger review at once. Sorry, that doesn't wash. And the other recommendation, the minor recommendation that, that Podger made, was let's stop this overlap of bureaucracies in managing Commonwealth Super, Defence Super, and they form the, the uh, Commonwealth Superannuation Corporation with its own board. Look, let them also minister the defence remuneration system as well and stop this bureaucracy and overlap and cost. Because in the end, cost means less benefits for the troops. That's the first one, folks. More to follow. If you've got any doubt of where this is heading or why we're concerned about this or that so, then please, and I really mean this, please go to www.stand2.org. It's a fantastic homepage. Take your time to look at it. You'll find all over the page different links to go to various areas. Down the right-hand side, you can go to all the previous videos that have been made and also all the radio interviews. There's a wealth of information there to give you that depth of understanding that you need to fully appreciate why we at ADSO are so concerned about the way the troops have been treated. Thank you.